uh, the drawing that I was looking at and which I made a drawing from. It's a drawing of um, a male figure uh, draped in the gowns and also has um, what looks like a drapery across his knees, but in fact I think it's part of the gown that he's wearing by Fra Bartolomeo de la Porta. Um, well, going to the British Museum is always um, a great thrill because it's um, quite a formal place and one feels one's going into an environment which is very special. I work a lot from collections and have done a lot of drawing um, from other drawings, from sculptures, um, from photographs and have been working within museum collections since I was a student. I'm particularly interested in my own work in using collections and historical artefacts and paintings uh, as a way of informing my own work and my own imagery. Well, the first thing I looked at in the drawing is, is the um, scale of the figure and the um, somehow the whole, the overall atmosphere and um, uh, stance of the figure and the uh, space that the figure was occupying in the drawing. And I tried to, with a few marks, outline and position the figure on my own page. Once I'd um, outlined the um, approximate position of the figure, um, I, I really focused very much on describing the figure through articulating the uh, drapery that, that contained him, his clothes. And I was very aware of the um, drapery that went over his knees as opposed to the drapery that was over his shoulders and over his torso because it almost the drawing was almost divided into two sections and um, in terms of the marks that I made I tried to um, uh, identify in the, with the marks the most dominant areas for example underneath the, the outstretched arm there was an area of quite a lot of dark drapery and across the top surface of his knees, it was on the whole quite a light area. And I tried in the, in the mark making, the way I built up the marks, to articulate those areas that I thought were most important in order to describe the structure of the cloak around this figure. Um, the drawing that I worked from, in fact, turned out to be, a, for me, a very difficult drawing to, to work with because it's uh, very s sculptural, the drawing, and um, it also works um, in quite a static way and um, uh, the folds of the um, cloth um, were very fluid and in fact they, whilst they're fluid they're, they've also got a sort of static quality and quite a kind of monumental stone-like quality and um, that was something that I realised as I was sort of going on with the draw, as I was making the drawing and I also started to understand uh, spatially how the drawing worked, which is something that I didn't quite realise and in fact didn't realise how difficult it was. Um, I think it's a great um, advantage of um, going to an exhibition with a drawing book because it helps you to focus on looking and it is actually quite difficult to stand in front of a picture for longer than, well even a minute would feel like a long time. And I think that if you have a drawing book in front of you and you are actually uh, engaged in drawing yourself, it holds your attention uh, in front of that piece of work for much longer.